So today we're gonna to make my favorite pie filling, raspberry pie. Oh, it's so good. I went to Business Costco. I don't know if you have those in your area, but luckily where I'm at, our Business Costco is amazing. I love it. But they had their raspberries. They're like $5 for 12 ounces. So I was able to get quite a few. You know, when I lived up in the Pacific Northwest, we used to go out picking raspberries, but down here in the desert, we don't have them. We have some in the garden, but you know, you're lucky to get a handful and it's not enough to make pies, let alone pie filling. So when we make this pie filling, what we're going to need is clear gel. This is from Berry Farms. It's B-E, or excuse me, B-A-R-R-Y-F-A-R-M dot com. That's where I get it. You also get it off of um, Amazon. Amazon has uh, Berry Farms. But you wanna make sure that you don't get the instant gel. The instant gel is not for canning. You wanna get the regular clear gel that's not instant. So it's real cheap. I, you can get it for like $14 a pound. And you only need half a package for one recipe. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, get your bears all washed up. Make sure you start your canner up first. You want those jars are nice and sterilized first. So let's go. Let's get it started. So for this recipe, we will need six quarts of raspberries. We will also need seven cups of sugar and one and three quarter cups of clear gel. Um, don't use flour or cornstarch. It will separate and it'll look really yucky. So don't use that. You will also need one half cup of bottled lemon juice. It has to be bottled. It cannot be fresh. You have to use bottled. Um, you can use water or you can use juice. I'm using this crown raspberry juice because my raspberries aren't as sweet as they have been in the last couple of weeks. So I'm using nine and one third cups of this juice. And it's already in the pan and ready to go. So to begin with, we're going to take our clear gel and we're going to mix it with the sugar and you're going to want to make sure this is mixed in really good so you don't get any clumps or lumps when you add it to your juice or water there we go all right so I'm going to go ahead and put this in with my juice which is already in my pan. Uh, it's going to make a huge cloud. And on this side of the stove, I have my seven quart jars already in the canner. I just wanted to show you inside the canner, actually this is just a huge like stock pot. I know a lot of you are having issues trying to find canners, but you can use a big stock pot and just make sure that you have either a rack or something on the bottom so that the jars don't touch the bottom of the pot. You can see right down there, I have a tray in the bottom. So that's all you have to use. And over here is my lids. They are warm and ready to go. So I'm gonna mix this up, get rid of any clumps before I turn the stove on. And then I'm going to bring this up to a boil, stirring constantly. It will burn really easily, so make sure you stir it constantly. And I will bring you back when it comes up to a boil. Well, we're just about ready for it to start boiling. It's nice and thick. You can see how nice and thick this gets. That's why you want to make sure and stir it constantly, because when it starts boiling, it thickens it really quick and it will burn. So now that it's up to a boiling, I'm going to throw in my half a cup of bottled lemon juice. And then I'm going to bring it back up to a boil. And I'm going to set the timer for one minute. You're going to boil this for one minute. And then we're going to add the berries. All right, there we go. Raspberry pie is one of my favorite. I love raspberries. I like raspberry pie, raspberry jam, raspberry syrup, you name it, I love it. Raspberry pie. I just love that tart taste of raspberries. It's so good. 
Oh, this will be really good in little pies. You know, a lot of our kids in our area are homeschooling. They're not, the schools are not open. So we make them little fruit pies and that's a great lunch snack for them. All you gotta do is make up some pie dough or you can use start or bought pie dough, that works fine too. Or phyllo dough, phyllo dough will work perfect. And you just, you can either fry them or bake them. Put a little cinnamon sugar on top or you can do a little glaze. Sorry, one minute. And a little glaze with a little powdered sugar and some milk will also work. All right, I'm gonna put in my raspberries real quick. Couple of scapies off the side of the pan here. Throw those in. Mm. Yep, a few of them got all over my stove here. Oop, even a couple of blackberries from when I made the blackberry. Ooh, those will be snacks. All right. So you're just gonna. Take this and fold it in. Mm, my pan's hot. You don't want to mess with them a lot because you don't want them to. Uh, hold on, I got a little leaf right there. You don't want them to fall apart, so you really just want to lightly fold them in. That one's not right. Take that one out. It, and this is going to make some great pie filling. It has the flavor and the filling of the cran raspberry. There's no sugar added in that juice, so the only sugar is the sugar I put in it. Instead of getting really sweet juice on really sweet filling. All right, and you can see it's nice and thick. Okay. I'll bring it back in a minute. We're going to start jarring it up. All right, let's start putting this in jars so we can get them processed. So, this is going to be incredible. It looks really nice. Nice and red. Nothing better than raspberry pie filling at Christmas time. It is one of our favorites. Now, when you're doing clear gel, clear gel expands during processing, so you want to make sure it's, it, the recipe calls for a one inch headspace. I give it a one and a half, just, you know, like a one and a half because the clear gel really expands. So I always like to give it that extra room because it never fails. It always comes right out the top. So I just don't want to have to worry about not having a seal. So I always give it extra room. All right. And we're going to clean our rim and put on our lid and the ring, fingertip tight. You don't want to crank it down or anything, just fingertip tight. And then lift the jar and stick it in the canner. I always put my jars in bowls because I have granite countertops and they're cold. I don't want it to crack the countertop or crack the jar. Either one, hot and cold, don't get along. So I always make sure and put them in a bowl. Do another jar here. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. It's going to be so nice having this on the shelf during the winter. Mm, got some in there. A little leaf. These little raspberries, you wash them and wash them, but it never fails. Something always pops out of the center of them. Doesn't really matter how good you wash them. Alright, so. I know a little 
bubbles. Need my rim. Put on a warm lid. My, my lids I always have warm. I don't boil them. I don't make them hot. I just warm them up a little bit. That helps them seal better. Even though the new lids, they say not just to wash them and put them on. I have had too many lid failures. I always warm them up. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and I'll bring you back as soon as I'm done. So I got seven quarts of the pie filling in the canner. I also have another quart and two pints that I'm going to put in my other canner. So I'm going to have two canners going at once. But for water bath canning, you're going to boil this for 30 minutes at zero to a thousand feet, 35 minutes for 1,000 to 3,000 feet, and 40 minutes for over 3,000 feet. I'm just over 2,000 feet, so I will do this for 35 minutes. So I'm going to put the lid on, bring it up to a boil, and then I will start my time for 35 minutes. My jars have processed for 35 minutes, and they've sat for 5 minutes in the hot water. Now it's time to pull them out. And they look amazing. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? This is going to make some wonderful raspberry pie for the holidays. Absolutely amazing. It is really hot. Make sure you always bring it out on top of a towel so it doesn't hit a cold countertop. Make sure all your fans are turned off. You don't want any fans on. You don't want air conditioning on. Nothing to hit these cold jars that would cause them to shatter. One more. It's my seven jars. I got my blackberry over here from the last video. You can check out the blackberry pie filling. All my jars sealed for my blackberry. Now I'm just going to let the raspberry sit here. And you're going to let it sit for 24 hours. Once your 24 hours is over, make sure that everything is sealed. Take off the rim. Wash your jars. Make sure they're good and clean and stick them on the shelf. That's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Gardening and Canning in the City. And I hope you get that raspberry pie filling so you're ready to go for Christmas. It makes a great Christmas pie. And so make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Um, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. Also, I do have a Facebook page. Uh, so make sure you check out my Facebook page also. All right, happy canning. Have a great day.